Okay, YouTube, real quick, uh, I wanted to note, you can usually tell a finished stock by the type of splicing they have, the finger joints. Now, I'm not going to get into the ty different types of finger joints because there are uh, period uh, specific finger joints for these stocks, but that's just one area that you can tell if it's a finished one or not. And there's usually one down here on the grip, too. It might be a little bit difficult to see. But very, very good quality. And uh, I will mention also, the finished Nagant also has two sling point mounts. You see the one on the bottom of the stock. And then there's a side mount sling for your mounted troops and things like that. Your ski troops, whoever else. Okay, YouTube, uh, we talked about the stocks. A few of the, you know, different stocks. I also forgot to mention with the stocks that uh, they do have laminated uh, wood stocks. For the Mosin Nagants too, you know, you'll you'll know a laminated stock because it has the lines in it and everything. But okay, with these uh, stripper clips, you have to stack the rims to where when the one on top pushes over, you're not getting caught on the rim of the one under it. I wish I could take a detailed photo, but this might be difficult. But the rims on this thing are stacked. Now you see a lot of people on YouTube or wherever, and they load these rifles and they do this. They put it in there, and they push down like this. That's not correct. The most efficient way to load this weapon with stripper clip is to take the top round, lift up on the top round, push down. The magazine interrupter on this one's kind of uh, farting out on me. I need to uh, replace it, the spring in it. But you get the point. Um, and real quick, while I have the camera rolling, I'll go ahead and... Uh, show you how to stack these rims here. Hopefully you can see this. But I'm going to stack. Alright, that one's on top of the one under it. That one's on top. On top. On top. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know if you can see in the video, but to get the rounds out, you just drop the floor plate. They'll fall out the bottom, just like a standard hunting rifle. Alright, I'm going to set this M39 right here. Let's load this, uh, this M38. Okay, again, insert in the stripper clip guide, pull up as you push down. Ready to go. This has just been kind of an informal, kind of crash course review on the Mosin Nagant. I know that I, I kind of have the gift of gab when it comes to this stuff, and that's why I leave the reviews to uh, more short-winded people. And I know this uh, video is probably going to be two parts or more, but... I hope this whets your appetite, and if you've been thinking about a Mosin Nagant, you know, maybe you'll, uh, you know, think to pick one up. Um, I could go into a lot more detail about the history of this weapon. It has a lot of very interesting history, thing like, things like that. Um, very good design, very, you know, good overall um, shooting rifles. You know, military surplus ammunition is cheap, readily available. And uh, we're going to move on. I'm probably going to go ahead and make a video about cosmoline removal and we're going to try to get all this caked on cosmoline off of this thing i may not get to it today but here soon so anyway uh, if you enjoyed this video I, I may be doing more like this so just subscribe and we're gonna have more of this stuff coming up thanks for watching